so um, there were uh, a handful of uh, uh, biblical scholars who wanted to at least get a, a more accurate depiction of what Jesus might have looked like. So what they did was they um, located every archaeological dig that's ever dug up the skeleton of a Jewish man from the time period around Jesus. And they did these 3D scans of all these Jewish male skulls from this kind of gross, but they did it of all. And then they created a composite of like an average Jewish skull. And then they hired a forensics, a British forensic specialties team that does this, right? That create face masks out of skulls to reconstruct faces. You guys know what I'm talking about here? Yeah, so there you go. That's it. Now I'm not telling you that's what Jesus looked like. What I'm telling you is that if Jesus looked like anything, he looked more like this and not the white, frail, European, white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to our podcast today, where we will be discussing a controversial topic. Was Jesus black? This question has been debated by various groups, often affiliated with the black Hebrew movement, who argue that Jesus was of African descent. However, the Bible declares Jesus Jewishness and his skin color remains unknown. But does it really matter what color Jesus' skin was? In this episode, we will explore this question from a biblical perspective, looking at scriptures, examples, and applications to understand the significance of Jesus' skin color in the broader context of our faith. The question of Jesus' skin color has been a subject of debate and speculation for many years. While the Bible does not explicitly state Jesus' skin color, there are various perspectives and interpretations that can shed light on this issue. Firstly, it's important to note that the Bible affirms Jesus' Jewish heritage. Jesus was born in Bethlehem to Jewish parents, Mary and Joseph, and was raised in a Jewish household according to the biblical accounts. The Bible also provides genealogies tracing Jesus' lineage back to King David, who was a prominent figure in Jewish history. This suggests that Jesus, in accordance with the Bible, was of Jewish descent. In terms of Jesus' skin color, the Bible does not provide any specific description. The scriptures do not mention the physical appearance of Jesus, including his skin color or any other physical traits. The Bible primarily focuses on the teachings, actions, and ministry of Jesus rather than his physical appearance. It's also worth noting that during the time of Jesus, the region where he lived, which is now modern-day Israel and Palestine, was a diverse and cosmopolitan area with people of various ethnicities and skin colors, including Jewish, Roman, Greek, and other Middle Eastern peoples. Therefore, it's possible that Jesus, being a Jewish man living in that region at that time, may have had physical features that were typical of people from that region, which could have included a range of skin colors. It's also important to consider the cultural and historical context of the time when Jesus lived. The societal norms, cultural practices, and perceptions of race and ethnicity were different from what they are today. The concept of race as we understand it today, with its modern definitions and classifications, did not exist in the same way during Jesus' time. Therefore, projecting modern ideas of race and skin color onto Jesus may not be an accurate reflection of the historical and cultural reality of his time. Ultimately, the question of Jesus' skin color may not be as crucial to our faith as some might believe. The central message of Christianity is about the divinity, teachings, and redemptive work of Jesus, rather than his physical appearance. Christians believe that Jesus came to save all people, regardless of their race, ethnicity, or skin color. His teachings of love, compassion, forgiveness, and salvation are applicable to people of all backgrounds and cultures. While discussions about Jesus' skin color can be interesting and informative, it's important to approach the topic with sensitivity, respect, and a willingness to acknowledge that there may be varying perspectives and interpretations. It's also important to prioritize the core teachings of Jesus and the principles of our faith, which transcend superficial differences such as skin color. So, while the Bible does not provide explicit information about Jesus' skin color, it affirms his Jewish heritage and the centrality of his teachings and redemptive work. 
The question of Jesus' skin color may not be as significant to our faith as his teachings and the message of love, compassion, and salvation that he brought to the world. As Christians, we can strive to emulate his example of inclusivity, acceptance, and love for all people, regardless of their skin color or ethnicity. Examples Let's begin by looking at some examples from the Bible that shed light on the issue of Jesus' skin color. The prophet Isaiah provides a description of Jesus' physical appearance, saying, He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him, Isaiah 53 verse 2. This description focuses on Jesus' lack of physical attractiveness or majesty, but does not mention his skin color. In fact, the Bible provides little, if any, description of what Jesus might have looked like in terms of his skin color. Moreover, it is important to note that if Jesus' skin color was of significant importance, God would have explicitly mentioned it in the Bible. However, the lack of such information indicates that it is not a crucial aspect of our faith. Speculating on Jesus' skin color is therefore unprofitable and can lead to unnecessary arguments and divisions among believers, as mentioned in 1 Timothy 1 verse 4 and Titus 3 verse 9. The Bible does not provide a clear description of Jesus' skin color and the passage from Isaiah 53 verse 2 that you mentioned focuses on Jesus' lack of physical attractiveness or majesty without mentioning his skin color. It's also important to consider the overall message of the Bible, which is centered on Jesus' teachings, actions, and redemptive work, rather than his physical appearance. As you mentioned, if Jesus' skin color was of significant importance, it would have been explicitly mentioned in the Bible. The silence of the Bible on this matter suggests that it is not a crucial aspect of our faith. Speculating on Jesus' skin color can indeed lead to unnecessary arguments and divisions among believers, which goes against the teachings of unity, love, and compassion that Jesus emphasized in his ministry. It's also important to remember that as Christians, our focus should be on emulating Jesus' example of love, compassion, forgiveness, and salvation, rather than getting caught up in debates about his physical appearance. Our faith is based on the principles and teachings of Christianity, rather than on the physical characteristics of Jesus. As mentioned in 1 Timothy 1 verse 4 and Titus 3 verse 9, engaging in unprofitable speculations and arguments can distract us from the essence of our faith and hinder our ability to live out the values that Jesus taught. So, while the Bible does not provide a clear description of Jesus' skin color, it is not a crucial aspect of our faith. Instead of focusing on speculations about Jesus' physical appearance, we should prioritize emulating his teachings and example of love, compassion, and salvation, and strive to live out the principles of our faith in our interactions with others, regardless of their skin color or ethnicity. Scriptural Explanations as Christians, our focus should be on the teachings and message of Jesus rather than his physical appearance. The Bible emphasizes that Jesus' divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness, 2 Peter 1 verse 3. Our knowledge of him, his glory, and goodness should motivate us to live pure and righteous lives for his glory, regardless of his skin color. Furthermore, the Bible clearly states that God does not show favoritism based on race or nationality, Acts 10 verses 34 to 35. Jesus' command to go into all the world and teach the gospel, Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20, demonstrates that there are no cultural or racial barriers in spreading the good news. In fact, Paul's letter to the churches in Galatia emphasizes that in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, and we are all one, Galatians 3 verse 28. The color of Jesus' skin or our neighbor's skin should not hinder us from sharing the gospel or receiving it. Paul's example of adapting to different cultures without compromising the message of Christ, 1 Corinthians 9 verses 19 to 23, highlights the universality of the gospel. The truth of the gospel transcends skin color and reaches into the hearts of those who seek God, regardless of their race or ethnicity. 
Salvation is found in Jesus alone, and there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12. The teachings and message of Jesus should be the focus of our faith, rather than his physical appearance. The Bible clearly emphasizes that Jesus' divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness, and our knowledge of him should motivate us to live pure and righteous lives for his glory, regardless of his skin color, 2 Peter 1 verse 3. The Bible also emphasizes that God does not show favoritism based on race or nationality, as stated in Acts 10 verses 34 to 35. Jesus' command to go into all the world and teach the gospel demonstrates that there are no cultural or racial barriers in spreading the good news, Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. In fact, Paul's letter to the Galatian churches emphasizes that in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, and we are all one, Galatians 3 verse 28. This highlights the universality of the gospel, and that the color of Jesus' skin or our neighbor's skin should not hinder us from sharing or receiving the gospel. Paul's example of adapting to different cultures without compromising the message of Christ in his ministry, 1 Corinthians 9 verses 19 to 23, further demonstrates that the truth of the gospel transcends skin color and reaches into the hearts of those who seek God, regardless of their race or ethnicity. Salvation is found in Jesus alone, and there is no other name under heaven by which we must be saved, Acts 4 verse 12. In light of these biblical truths, it is clear that the color of Jesus' skin should not be a hindrance to our faith or our relationships with others. Our focus should be on living out the teachings of Jesus, sharing the gospel with all people, and treating others with love, compassion, and respect, regardless of their skin color or ethnicity. As Christians, we are called to prioritize unity, inclusivity, and the spread of the gospel, rather than engaging in divisive debates about Jesus' physical appearance. Conclusion In conclusion, while the debate about Jesus' skin color may continue, it is important to remember that the Bible does not provide explicit information on this matter. Speculating on Jesus' skin color is unproductive and can distract us from the central message of the gospel. Our focus should be on Jesus' teachings, His glory, and goodness, rather than His physical appearance. The universality of the gospel transcends race, ethnicity, and skin color, and our priority should be sharing the good news with all people, regardless of their skin color. Our faith should be centered on the teachings and message of Jesus, rather than getting caught up in debates about His physical appearance. The Bible does not provide explicit information on Jesus' skin color, and speculating on this issue can distract us from the central message of the gospel. The universality of the gospel transcends all boundaries, including race, ethnicity, and skin color. Our priority as Christians should be to share the good news with all people, treating everyone with love, compassion, and respect, regardless of their skin color. Let us focus on living out the teachings of Jesus and spreading the gospel, rather than engaging in divisive debates about Jesus' physical appearance. The content discussed in the podcast has several applications for Christians today. Avoiding speculation and unprofitable quarrels, the content emphasizes that the color of Jesus' skin is not mentioned in the Bible and therefore speculating on this issue is unproductive. As Christians, we should avoid engaging in unprofitable quarrels or debates that do not contribute to our faith or the proclamation of the gospel. Instead, we should focus on what the Bible clearly teaches and prioritize living a life of godliness and righteousness. Emphasizing the message of the gospel, the content highlights that the color of Jesus' skin has no bearing on the gospel message. The central message of the gospel is about Jesus' divine power, glory, and goodness, and how he has provided salvation for all people, regardless of their race or ethnicity. As Christians, we should prioritize sharing the gospel message with others, regardless of their skin color, cultural background, or nationality. Overcoming Cultural and Racial Barriers The content underscores that there are no cultural or racial barriers in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christians are called to go into all the world and teach the gospel, 
embracing people from every nation and background. We should strive to overcome cultural and racial biases and be inclusive in our approach to sharing the gospel, just as the apostles of the first century church adapted to different cultures without compromising the truth of the gospel. Focusing on salvation through Jesus Christ, the content reiterates that salvation is found only in Jesus Christ and his redemptive work on the cross. As Christians, we should prioritize proclaiming the name of Jesus as the only means of salvation, without being influenced by external factors such as skin color or ethnicity. Our eternal destiny is determined by our faith in Jesus Christ, not by external appearances or cultural backgrounds. Living a life of godliness and righteousness, the content emphasizes that Christ has called us to a life of glory and moral excellence. As Christians, we should strive to live pure and righteous lives, reflecting the character of Christ, regardless of our skin color or cultural background. Our identity and conduct as Christians should be shaped by our relationship with Jesus Christ and his teachings, rather than external factors such as race or ethnicity. In conclusion, the content of the podcast encourages Christians to focus on the central message of the gospel, avoid speculation and unprofitable quarrels, overcome cultural and racial barriers, and prioritize living a life of godliness and righteousness. By doing so, we can fulfill our calling as followers of Jesus Christ and effectively share the gospel with others, regardless of their skin color or cultural background. The applications highlighted are important reminders for Christians today. By avoiding speculation and unprofitable quarrels, emphasizing the message of the gospel, overcoming cultural and racial barriers, focusing on salvation through Jesus Christ, and living a life of godliness and righteousness, we can live out our faith in a way that honors God and reflects the teachings of Jesus. It is crucial for Christians to prioritize the central message of the gospel and strive to live out its principles in our interactions with others, regardless of their skin color or cultural background. Let us be guided by the teachings of Jesus and the principles of the Bible as we seek to share the good news with all people and live lives that bring glory to God.